Because of her natural grace, grounded demeanor, and likeness to her late grandmother Queen Elizabeth II, she has been praised as the royal family's secret weapon. However, Lady Louise Windsor is just like any other college student when she is not in the spotlight. Lady Louise, whose parents are the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, was once called the English Rose that is blossoming. She is celebrating her 21st birthday today and has been enjoying her time as a student at St. Andrews University in Scotland. The 16th in line to the throne, who just started her third year of English studies, is seen partying with pals, showcasing her dancing skills, and taking selfies with her rumored lover in photos taken at a fundraiser for the university's theater society earlier this year. Edward and Sophie's daughter, who is rumored to have fallen in love with Felix de Silva Clamp, looked very cozy in a traditional V-necked little black dress. As Lady Louise took selfies with her phone, the two put their arms around one another and softly pressed their heads together. In another picture, Lady Louise is seen cuddling up to Felix, resting her head on his shoulder and her hand on his chest. Over the past two years, the two have developed a close relationship. In June, Felix, whose father works as a solicitor, even traveled to the Sandringham Estate in Norfolk to watch Louise compete in a driving competition in which she took home an amazing silver medal. Felix already seems to get along with the family, and if the couple sticks together, they will follow in the footsteps of William and Kate, who also met while attending St. Andrews. He was happy as he spoke to the Duchess of Edinburgh and seemed to get along well with Lady Louise's parents. According to the source, Lady Louise herself has experienced taking on a low-key part-time job despite her royal status, and Felix works in an ice cream parlor in St. Andrews while pursuing his studies. She worked at a garden center throughout the summer of 2022 before starting her college studies. For six pounds and 63 pence an hour, Louise was reportedly assisting with the tills, greeting clients, and potting and clipping plants. She is a really sweet and modest young woman who is courteous and attentive to customers, one customer commented. She appeared to be enjoying her work. It's unthinkable that the queen's granddaughter would work behind a counter. The staff seemed to adore her, another person added. You don't buy your begonias from a royal very often. Undergraduates can spend a semester overseas as part of Lady Louise's four-year English literature degree program. Felix attended Melbourne Grammar School despite being born in London, and his mother, who is currently based in Australia, works for the World Health Organization's Mental Health Gap Action Program. Lady Louise is reportedly eager to travel to Australia for her last year, and Macquarie University is at the top of her list. According to a source, Felix and Lady Louise are thinking about studying abroad because he previously attended an Australian school. The strategy hasn't been finalized yet, though. Lady Louise has so far made sure that her academics come first while she finishes her degree, skipping two consecutive Easter Sunday services while remaining in Edinburgh. The title Louise uses is Lady instead of Princess. Even though she is cousin to Princess Beatrice, Princess Eugenie, Prince William, and Prince Harry. Because her father, Prince Edward, wished to protect her from the stresses of a life in the spotlight, she was not born a princess. We try to bring them up with the understanding that they are very likely to have to work for a living, Sophie, her mother, said in an interview with the Sunday Times in 2020. Therefore, we decided not to use HRH titles. Louise has previously stated that she would like to work in the military, diplomacy, or law. She talks about being very keen on a career in the military, serving the king and country, a source stated in August. She has developed a deep affection for the army cadets. Lady Louise would be the first female royal since her late grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, to choose a career in the military. Lady Louise is believed to have visited Elizabeth and Philip almost every two weeks, demonstrating her close relationship with her late grandmother. Louise and her brother, James, Earl of Wessex, were the grandchildren that they saw the most, according to Ingrid Seward. By contrast, this little girl was there every weekend, while the older ones were seen less frequently. According to reports, Louise's parents wanted to give her a normal childhood, thus she didn't even know her grandmother was the queen until much later in life. In a previous interview, Sophie, Louise's mother, disclosed that Louise had once returned home as a youngster and said, Mommy, people keep on telling me that grandma is the queen. Their seventh grandchild was Lady Louise. She also gave Philip a sense of pride in himself in addition to happiness. 
This was so that Philip's surname, Mountbatten, may continue into the future of the royal family, as she was the first royal to formally adopt the Mountbatten Windsor surname. According to a former assistant, Philip would be thrilled that a member of the royal family will be continuing the Mountbatten lineage 55 years after the birth of his first child. But the late Duke of Edinburgh, who played a significant role in promoting carriage driving as a sport in Britain, apparently loved the sport as much as Lady Louise did. One of Philip's favorite activities since the 1970s was driving a carriage, which he had more time to do after retiring. Before competing for Britain in a number of global and European championships, he raced carriages close to Norfolk. Prince Philip was so happy when his granddaughter expressed interest in playing the sport, Sophie previously disclosed. Lady Louise had a lot of encouragement from my father-in-law, who was always quite good at it. He was simply fantastic with her, she recalled when she not only requested, please, can I have a go, but also demonstrated a flair for it. He would always show up to watch her in her training days if she was competing in the Great Park, and they would talk endlessly about it. In April 2022, on the weekend of her grandfather's death anniversary, Lady Louise honored his legacy by participating in a carriage driving event. Louise is rarely seen at royal engagements since her parents want to give the kids a regular life. According to royal analyst Ingrid Seward, Queen Elizabeth II and her granddaughter Louise were extremely close before the Queen's passing. She remarked, she is like another daughter to the Queen. There have been many comparisons between Louise and her close-knit grandmother, suggesting that Louise could follow in her footsteps. There are shades of the young Elizabeth. Ingrid Seward remarked in reference to the two being similar. Something about her possesses a certain ability. She is clearly a really kind young lady. The royal family's secret weapon was the moniker given to her by royal admirers as early as 2021. This was evident at this year's Trooping the Color festivities, where royal lovers were thrilled to see Lady Louise on the balcony because she was not present the previous year. For the past 260 years, the yearly celebration of the reigning monarch's birthday in the United Kingdom has been a significant feature of the royal calendar. Wearing a white chiffon tea dress with blue flowers, which she had previously worn to the king's coronation in May 2023, she looked elegant. According to renowned celebrity stylist Alex Longmore, who has styled Joan Collins, Jerry Hall, and Zara Phillips, Louise's relative, Lady Louise is a flowering English rose. Lady Louise is aristocratic and not fashion conscious, so she isn't trying to make a statement, she stated. As a member of the royal family, it is frightening to step out, but she has been doing it delicately and gradually as she gains confidence.